Hello friends, today I'm going to tell you about the FRX material by GC. Myself, Dr. Simran, I'm a practicing dentist in Indrapuram. I went to my practice since last 12 years. And uh, let me just brief you about Everex. Everex uh, is a material by GC, which is a bulk fill material and it has fibers which are reinforced into the resin matrix and it has a very high fracture strength and that's the reason why it is really advisable for huge cavities. So my personal favorite is the pre-endo build-ups and the huge class 1 cavities where I get really tired up with the layering of the conventional cavities. But yes, since it's a fiber reinforced composite material, so the polishability is not that great and the shades available are just two. So we really need to top it up with the conventional composite that can be an enamel composite. The reason why I use it in the pre and build buildups in plastic cavities is because it has a very controlled flow and it has absolutely no slumping and the fracture resistance is too good. Since it, it is fiber reinforced, so the strength of the composite is very high. So we can also use it in the cavities which have cusp fractures or which have, uh, you know, which are your repeat cavities which have a composite fracture because, because of the fibers that are present inside the composite, the fracture resistance is very good and the cuspal fractures and the other composite fractures are also taken care of. So this is the Everex syringe that you get. And I'm just going to demonstrate how the slumpiness is avoided with this and it has a very very controlled flow. Can you see? So wherever I want I can just place it, I can manipulate it and it's not going to slump at all. I'm going to place just a little in the occlusion cavity as well. Beautifully adapted. Actually, I don't even require much instrumentation. I'll add just a little more. As you can see, it's not even sticking to my instrument. Working with this is very, very comfortable. Not at all sticking. Just settling where I really want it to be. The curing time would be 20 seconds. Now I'm taking my conventional composite that is uh, Solare X. This is again by GC. A conventional composite is always required over this. The reason being the fibers that have been reinforced into the composite are not uh, very polishable. So now that since we are just doing this for the demonstration purposes. So I've not actually applied rubber dam or you know, I've not shown you the techniques for bonding. Because this is purely and purely to make you people aware about the benefits of Everex flow have to do it in the mouth you have to do it just the way you do with all your composites I personally prefer a selective etch technique so I selectively etch the enamel for just 10, 10 to 15 seconds then I bond the tooth I because I'm using a seven generation bond so I rigorously wrap it on the tooth the most important part of any restoration is the adaptability if you're not adapting your composite to the edges to the borders of the cavity 
after a few days or weeks or months you're going to see that there's a marginal leakage and the restoration is failing or has already failed so what i have to do is i have to just give some time to my final carving but the cavity filling and everything has already been taken care of i'm absolutely not worried whether the composite which is at the bottom is cured or not because it's a bulk fill so yes it is cured i'm not worried that whether it is very fracture resistant or not because this is a tooth that is load bearing that has to be use for all our eating forces this is solare x that i'm using and it is also very good as it has excellent handling properties it's absolutely not sticking to my instrument you can see there's no composite on my instrument Wherever I want, I can just dab it there. It's going to be. It's not going to stick to my instrument and then come out and then give me nightmares. I've used a lot of composites, and one thing that I make sure that is present in the composite that I use is a good handling top. So as you can see we are ready with our cavity and in just a matter of 5 minutes we are done with the class tooth. This is the reason I really prefer it with my pre-endo build ups because as it is the cavities are very deep when we do a pre-endo build up for a class tooth cavity. And if we are going to do just the conventional composites we are going to just waste our 30 minutes 40 minutes. But with Everex I Rest assured that my cavity is filled nicely. It is not going to fracture. It is going to have a good strength. Even with your post and course, you can use Everex. As you can see, the cavity is all filled. The next step would be the polishing and the finishing. Now, since we are not uh, actually going into that, so I'll not. So, in a manner of matter of few minutes, we are done with our uh, restoration. I'll just remove my saddle. Now we just need to do a bit of finishing, polishing, and then we are done. The patient is ready to go. The patient is happy. The clinician is happy. because of the fracture resistance because of the adaptability because of the incredible handling properties of both the composites everex flow ever as well as solare x so i would personally recommend if you have any pre endo build ups to do if you have large class 2 cavities if you have class 1 cavities go ahead and grab your switch right thank you